Hello guys, we are back with another video. And this video is another inbox review of another kit I got a couple days back. Uh, I'm gonna review, I'm gonna make a short review on it and uh, just let you know how it looks like. It is the uh, 48 scale hobby balls US uh, the M4 Sherman the A3 type with the uh, late turret version and the late gun and the fixed sassy and not the cast and doesn't have the cast uh, hole which I'm not really a fan of it anyway this boxer is amazing as you can see it's on the battle of the bulge I think it's really nice so a destroyed panther in the back a couple soldiers shooting an a 30 caliber and a couple more M4 Shermans, but it's not the uh, late type versions. It's got the early t early war type gun and uh, turret. But anyway, the box is amazing. And on the t on the uh, bottom, it tells you the dimensions of the tank, the total parts, the sprues, type of photo heads, how many photo heads part there are, and yeah. That's what they show to you. Anyway, on the side it gives you history, the finished tank, which I'm not going to use. I'm not going to do this kind of I'm going to make the winter one, which is white with uh, olive green. Anyway, um, on the other side it gives you look at the tank and the price, which is actually still. Uh, because it was on the sales, I bought it for almost 12 euros instead of 17, which is a normal price. It's an awesome price. And we've got a second version of the M4 Sherman finished here, which is not the one I'm going to do either. It gives you the photo heads, the decals, and a couple more stuff I don't know. Anyway, opening the box. Time to see what's inside. Alright, so I open the box and we have everything still in a plastic bag except for the uh, lower hole. First things first, on the first sprue we have the gun mechanism for the interior of the turret. We got the cupolas, the turret, which is not the one I'm gonna use because it's supposed to have a couple of hinges in the back which it doesn't have, it doesn't include, and it's not the uh, same gun as in the front of the box set. So anyway, we've got the front part, the mounlets, no first sprue. Second sprue, we have the upper hole, which is nice. It looks really nicely detailed. The back of the tank, the uh, another part for the back, or for the front, I don't know. The, ex the um, exhaust of the tank, more uh, poles. Uh, I think these are multiple enough to have cupolas, I don't know. We've got side skirts and a couple more various parts. Next up we've got the suspension system which looks nicely detailed along with a couple wheels. I know they're not wheels or something else but I don't know. But anyway they look nicely detailed too. I always wanted to make an M4, but I don't know anything about it. And we got on this screw, we got the wheels, sprockets, drive sprockets, and stuff. And we got a couple soldier backpacks. It's uh, actually, I think I'm gonna put a couple of them on the turret of the tank or on the back of the tank. I don't know. We'll see. And yes, this is the turret I'm talking about. See, it has those hinges in the back. These are the ones I wanted. This is the turret I'm going to use. This is the gun I'm going to use, which is the right one with the right muzzle brake and weight in the front. Cupolas and stuff. Nice little detail, too. We have this here, which is the back of the tank. This is the uh, base for the, uh, uh, for the engine. Extremely nice detail. And last. We have suspension system, a couple of machine guns, 50 caliber, 30 caliber. We have pickaxes, uh, soul axes, drives, rockets, got a couple boxes, more suspension system, 
jerry cans and various other parts and then this one we have the low hole which is really nice little detail too a little small but nice it's got a nice bottom detail looks nice to me and whoa, what's that oh below be, all right uh, under this we have oh no I hate these we got rubberized trucks which I really hate we've got a heavy set of photo heads parts for the shaman and sealed decals for the unfold shaman I mean these ones look nice though I've never used photo heads parts before so if you guys can give me tips about it I would be very grateful Anyway, and last but not least, we have the color guide for two types of tank, of tank, which doesn't give you any history about it, neither both. So, and uh, the uh, instruction sheet, which is a typical um, hobby boss instruction sheet, very understandable. There's no problem there. It also gives you a uh, pro map. And much more. I mean, I'm going to open this because I know it's very easy to understand. So, uh, yeah, this is a kit, guys. This is a very nice kit, in my opinion. This is a state of the art kit for the 48 scale, the detail, the uh, extra parts, the uh, aftermarket parts, everything is so amazing. I mean, for 10. For 12 euros, this is a steal. I mean, all these photo heads, brass parts. Uh, the only thing I was not satisfied about was the trucks, but I don't really care. I don't really care about the trucks that much. But anyway, got two sets of uh, of turrets, which is amazing. But yeah, this kit is so so amazing. I mean. It, it was worth every penny. I mean, I'm going to make this the bottle of the balls, maybe that, or I'm going to do the Greek version, which was a land lease after World War II, but I don't know. I don't know, but we'll see. I think I'm going to stick to the Ardennes version. But anyway, thanks for taking a look, guys. Thanks for uh, commenting or liking the video. And if you want more reviews like this one, you can subscribe or leave a like. And till next time guys, have a great day.